just woke up probably like 30 minutes ago. Um, I haven't even got in the shower, but I washed my face. I had to wash my face because I knew I was coming to see you guys. Um, but after the vlog, then I'll do all my rituals. But um, anyways, I just want to come to y'all and tell y'all um, <coughs> about my life, okay? So, um, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to go back, maybe to 2002 when I graduated. But let's go a little bit back when I first started high school. Um, I went to Skyline High School in Dallas, Texas. Um, most people would know, the, know Skyline as Flyline. Or bougie line, uh, but when I went there, it was pretty cool. It was nice. It wasn't none of all of that. It was um, just a calm school. Um, people ask me, "Did you have friends when you were in high school?" No. Simple fact: my mom always kept us moving. My mom always kept us in books when we uh, went to school. But I don't think, yeah. I think Brittany was, my sister was born when I was in high school. I think she was already born in elementary school or middle school. But my mom, she always like pushed us to be overachievers and she would set like high, like high, high, high goals for us um, when we were going to school. Because, you know, in high school, for all my teens out there, for all like, my O2 graduates, everybody knew that um, there was like a lot of sex, a lot of babies being made in high school. Everybody would, for the summer, everybody would go to the Kappa um, in um, uh, H-Town, Houston, that is, and they would come back, pray go. So, um, my mom, she had, like, high, like, high standards for me. And I would never do any of that stuff. I would never hang out. I would have friends, but not, like, friend friends. So, shit. Because <laughs> you can't really, like, trust everybody that went to their school because they were just messy. <laughs> so, um, I did make me a really, really good friend. She was, like, my bestie. And her name was Cheryl. Um, she stayed in some apartments. And we stayed in the house. Um, but I used to always go to her house. And um, we used to do homework and stuff. And we used to go shopping. And um, then I met her sister. Her sister was really, really, really nice. And I can consider them as my besties. And But um, towards my senior year, they moved to Luck in te Texas. Oh, I hope I'm saying it right. Lufkin, Texas. Um, they moved down there, and um, we stayed in contact. But of course, um, you know, our friendships don't last. Um, and when that happened, I was so heartbroken because we was always together. We was like the amazing three, you know. Um, but in high school, I can say I was a class clown, like. I was so goofy, like, me and my teachers, um, I took theater in high school, like, all throughout my high school, and if you guys know him, his name is Pastor Rush, and he has a church called Abak, um, and I go to Abak whenever I'm not going to work on Sunday, but, um, or T.D. Jakes, but, um, Pastor Rush was my theater teacher. If you know Pastor Rush, you know I'm silly. Like, you guys ain't never seen me silly, but I can get silly. I'm going to turn on the camera one day and let y'all see me get silly. Because I can get silly. But, um, yeah, he taught us so much. And Pastor Rush was one of the teachers that really, 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 really cared about his students. Like, he really cared. Like, Pastor Rush is one of those type of people where you thought he was your dad because he would, like, jack you up. <laughs> and I see him jack a few of the young guys up that was in his class. And, um, like, shout out to Pastor Rush. 
uh, I haven't seen him in so long. Like, I haven't even, like, been out of work to go to church or whatever, you know what I mean? But I'm going to make that a priority. If I have to go into work and say, Sunday is my religion day. It's against my religion to work. That's what I'm going to do. Because I miss going to church. But you guys, um, but what I'm trying to say is, um, in high school, I was just a bookworm. <laughs> Always in the books. Always worried about my grades. Because I wanted to, and it wasn't my mom that was like, get A's here and get A's there. You can't come home unless you get an A. No, it was me. And I did, I had like A's and B's. And God knows, one time I got a C in my economics class, and I threw a hissy fit. Like, I had to take the test over. I had to make sure everything was bright. I could, like, it was on me. Like, I didn't want any, like, C's. So, um, that just, like, told me up, though. But, anyways. <laughs> um, let's see. Did I play any sports in high school? No. Um, I could tell you that I tried out for the track team, and Coach Sanders, he was the track coach then. He was like, I mean, he was on our ass like, man. I tried out two times, made it, and the first time, I wasn't so sure about it, so I never went back. And then the second time, I went back, and I mean, I ran my life. Like, my life was ran. Like, I just ran my life, like... Like, somebody was after my head. Like, a dog was after me. I ran. You know what I mean? You have to, especially when you want to show Coach Sanders, like, I can do this. I got it. Like, he wants to see that. He doesn't want to see, like, some lazy kid, like, just trying. He wants to see your, your life put into it, your soul. So, one day, and you guys better not laugh. Don't laugh at me. Okay. So, um, one day... Uh, we had tryouts, and I knew I could have made it, but this is what Coach Sandy said. We have to run. If you know where Skyline High School is in Dallas, you know what I'm talking about. This is a big school. I mean, a huge school. Imagine running around that school because somebody stopped. You got to keep running. If he sees somebody stop, you got to keep running. If he sees somebody that's walking, you can just be walking. And you got to keep running. You can't stop. And Coach Sanders riding around on this, this golf court. Yes, a golf court. And, I mean, there was no hiding. You can't, like, walk and he not, he not see you. You know, and so, um, he went around the other way. We was on the other side. And a couple girls was walking. And they was looking back and stuff. And I was running. I was like, you know what? Forget this. Like, I can't, I can't do this. Like, if so, if we catch them girls walking, we're going to have to keep walking. We're going to have to keep running. And there's two girls walking, so we're going to have to run around. My, me and my team, we're going to have to run around two times this big school. That ain't happening. No, no, no. Not, not with me. No. So, we stayed in some houses across the street. And I said, well, I don't see him nowhere. So, I'm going to go through the field. I'm going to run, run through the field like Forrest Gump, Forrest. I'm going to run, run, run. And I'm going to run to my house. I'm going to open the door, lock the door behind me, and sit down. And grab me some Kool-Aid because I know mama, my mama threw down. When I was in high school, my mama used to throw down. My mama's from uh, the Bama, so she know how to cook. So, dinner was always ready when we got to the house. So, um. Uh, yeah, I ran across that field. Y'all better not be laughing at me, man. I mean, I ran. Like, I ran. <laughs> and, you know, and so the next day, like, it seemed like it followed me because the next day he was like, what happened to you? And I just couldn't tell. I was just like, if you only knew, it was two girls that was walking. He said, see, that's why you don't do things like that. Cause it was a test <laughs> and then the girls that was walking was the girls that was from previous years so he had set us up and he said I, he just wanted to see if i could keep going because he was gonna have me in uh like a distance running and i was like nah <laughs> so it kind of followed me throughout my whole high school teachers was like aren't you the girl that was running coach said he said you was the girl that was running across the field like
like to your house and you was gone like he could have used you how fast you was running he could have used you <laughs> so uh <clears throat> this is what i got on so i love this these pants right here i don't care if y'all see my blabber but these are i love this i wish it was like not this on top of the love but y'all know i love love but i wish it was down and it's the love came out but um yeah but um girl i purchased those at ross i got it at ross girl. so um and the shirt too it's just a normal shirt i think i don't know if this is a victoria's secret shirt or a ross shirt i didn't even look at the tag but you see i'm sporting my sister's hat um but anyways um yeah, you guys. I mean, it was crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, that was about my school. That was all about books and yeah, learning and um, just staying motivated and trying to get up out of school and graduating. Um, and I did graduate in 2002. Hey, hey. And then um, I did Priscusu College. And we're going to talk about that another time because college is another story. So, yeah, you guys, I'm so glad you could invade my life. Invade my life. Um, and find out more about me. So, it's Monday. And I had to do this vlog early in the morning. Because sometimes it takes all day to upload. And, uh, yeah. And I won't be doing no editing. Because I feel like editing with YouTube editing. Something go wrong with me talking. So, yeah oh and if y'all looking at this plant behind look at this plant like my mom grow this plant like i don't know what kind of plant it is i'll ask her next time um i think it's an ivy i'm not sure but it's really really pretty and big my mom got that green hand or that green thumb but yeah you guys so i definitely will catch you later which is tomorrow and I'll tell you some more about my life. Later.